everyone, this is Chelsea from Paper Rock TO Studio, and today I'm bringing to you my March edition of the Mission Inspiration Challenge from Mike Deacon. These are so fun, <laughs> and he always has a really amusing video, so you should check him out. I'll link his uh, mission for March down below so that you can see what he did with his cute panda bear. So, um, this time when I was doing the mission, I read the 10 steps before I started and I knew that there was going to be a collaged on focal image. And I, I had seen a owl this morning in my backyard, just like sitting on the post of the fence, just looking, staring into space, I guess. I don't know what they do, but, <laughs> you know, I, uh, I have a very special relationship with all the weird animals in my backyard, so... I wanted to draw an owl. Um, I've been drawing owls recently also for a family reunion logo thing. And so I decided to do that first before I started my page because these are going to be my, this is going to be my focal image that I collage on. So I'm just starting out on this uh, torn out piece of mixed media paper and I'm drawing in soft graphite my two little owl people. These are not realistic. They look nothing like the owl that was in the yard. Um, these are very whimsical, which is more my style. I, I don't really draw realistic stuff ever. So once I've drawn them in the graphite, I'm going to use Pit Artist Pins. I got these actually to do the project I was talking about. Um, you can see it on my web on my blog. It's uh, a logo for an upcoming family reunion. I got these pit artist pins to ink that because I was going to be in black and white, and I really like them. They're very, very nice. I have the brush ones that have multiple colors, but I didn't have these ones that are specifically for inking in drawings, and they have a lot of different sizes in them in the package from very, very fine to brush tip black. And this is India ink, so it's not water soluble in any way it's just um, once it's inked it's inked so I'm happy with these and I'm glad that I got them even though they were, they were slightly expensive but I used my 40% off coupon at Michael's <laughs> and then I just uh, erase the excess pencil lines the little scribbly lines and then I'm going to color this and I'm using the ink tints pencils from Derwent. And these are those pencils that once you've gotten them wet and blended them in there and they become dry after they've been activated, they should be permanent. But I've been hearing that they're not, although I haven't really had a problem with, with myself ha using them. Um, apparently if you don't get them all the way activated with the water, like you miss a little bit, then you go over it with something it could smear. So I haven't had a problem, but other people told me this. So my solution to this and another problem I have, which is curling, is that I am going to apply um, liquid matte medium glue stuff over the whole thing and let it dry before I ever cut it out or anything. So you'll see me doing that. I decided to color these with shades of blue. Owls are not blue. And green. I've never seen a blue or green owl. Parrots, yes. Um, macaws, sure, but not owls. But like I said, these aren't realistic. They're whimsical, just like all my drawings. So it doesn't matter that this one is blue and green and the other one is green and pinkish purple. So all I'm doing is just uh, like coloring on in the areas where I want it to be darker and then blending with my water barrel brush into the areas to make a lighter shade so I don't have to do any highlights and shadows. This is like a quick way to do it. And this is still that that Canson mixed media paper that's in my journal that I'm trying to use. I have now determined that I'm cutting that thing up. I'm taking all the pages that I've done out of it and I'm gonna turn it, I'm, I'll use the cover and everything but I'm just gonna turn it into a um, a journal bound with rings instead. 
I just I really hate the spirals they're all goopy now from paint and and I can't turn the pages and they're annoying me <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do is uh, take it apart and just make it make a journal for just these challenge either the the mission inspiration or the pick stick challenge pages are all going to be in the same book because they're kind of still the same type of thing a 10 step challenge so here's where I'm uh, going over it with this is a deco deco page um, deco arts collage glue and I just use my two inch brayer to get a, a smooth coat over the entire thing and I'm setting that aside to dry and now I'm gonna start my page so the first step is apply a layer of black or white gesso so I picked black and this is Liquitex black gesso and I'm just applying it with a sponge brush one of those cheap little throwaway uh, sponge brushes although I don't throw them away I just rinse them out but you know what I mean it's a sponge brush I'm tired of the gesso messing up my brushes I have one specifically set aside for it but then you know I forget and you know how that goes so check that one off next step is to apply white or black paint which is the opposite of your gesso so since I use black gesso I'm going to use white paint so I've decided that this is a nighttime scene and you're just going to see a few little clouds that are reflecting off the moon. Normally you don't see much clouds at night, but <laughs> I needed to apply my white against the black. So I'm just doing that with my finger and this is just titanium acrylic, titanium white acrylic. You know what I'm talking about. And I've got my little clouds and then I dry that with my heat tool. Next step, add illegible scribbled words. So like, you know, scribble journaling. So I'm just using my fine tip Posca black paint pen, going over the clouds with some scribbles. I'm thinking in my head what I'm saying, but you know what I'm writing, but I'm not writing it so that anyone could ever read it, including myself. The next thing is to add grocery receipt fragment, fragments. Now we keep our grocery receipts because we use a credit card and then we check them off at the end of the month. So I didn't use a grocery receipt. I used a receipt from Taco Bell <laughs> because we had Taco Bell for dinner last night and that's the receipt that was left from it. And I, we paid cash. So it was fine to destroy this receipt. And I just tore it up and I, I put my little focal image down and drew where a little branch would be because you know I have that pet peeve about things floating although I was told <laughs> when I was complaining about it on Craft It Live that that if you make an astronaut then they may float in space if your journal page has an astronaut it m might float in space but other things need to have grounding in my opinion and these little birds are not flying so therefore they need to have something to sit on so I'm creating a branch for them to sit on with my grocery receipts the grocery seats didn't just have printing they also had some interesting uh, things on the back that were like coupons and then also some like little stars where the where something was separated from something else so you can't really see on the video but it's kind of cool looking my branch I kind of liked it so next one add patterned paper shapes so I was looking around for some sort of pattern paper and I came up with this map which does have a pattern what I was looking for was something that was yellowish and I didn't really have any yellow scrapbook paper or anything like that so I decided to use this map and I used my glue jar to just draw a circle and then that is my moon and it actually looked kinda cool on the other side too <laughs> I was trying to decide should I put it on the colored side or should I put it on the side that's just kind of old yellowy paper but I decided on that side now you can see that where I'm putting this satin glue it is changing what the background looks like um, black gesso is very matte and has zero shine doesn't reflect and then this glue is a satin finish so I need to put it all over the page which I will be doing and I, I am aware of that as I'm doing this but I just thought I might point that out to you guys 
Uh, so now it's time to add my focal or collage image. Now remember this is mixed media paper that I've made this on so it's thick. So what I did, remember I, I had sealed it on the front and then I sprayed it with a little bit of water on the back and then I used a palette knife to apply a thick gel medium to put it on. And this worked great and then I pressed it down with a baby wipe to keep my hands and everything clean and then if anything squishes out the sides you can just clean it up with the baby wipe. This actually worked really really well. So I was excited about that. I finally figured out how to add thick things to my pages because I've struggled with that. I mean I knew I needed to have the thicker glue but then it would it would ooze out. I'm uh, just having troubles. <laughs> So let's see, what's the next one? The next one is to make marks with a credit card. And you saw me put some more um, decoupage glue all over the page there. So now it's all pretty equally shiny. And I'm using an old gift card to apply brown Liquitex Basics paint to my branch. I'm just kind of scraping it on. It looks like bark makes it look exactly like bark. Uh, the next step is to apply a highlight color through a stencil. I have discovered now that I've been using stencils some and I've collected a lot of different ones that I really like these Tim Holtz ones. They're just the right size and I can find them. They're not too big. They're not too small. They're actually perfect. So I'm, I've decided that Tim Holtz is pretty bright and he's made the exact size stencils that I needed. And they have interesting patterns, so I like them. I am giving him a thumbs up. Go Tim! <laughs> like he would ever know or care what I said. Anyway, the next one, this is step nine. Add journaling, a quote, or a phrase. So I printed out this little saying from a book and I mean, you know, it's from a book and I printed it out <laughs> and then I just uh, applied that with my uh, um, Deco Arts Deco Page Satin Glue. And the last one is to add drips or splatters with a metallic or mica paint. This is PBO, um, green gold I think, gold green, green gold, anyway it's very shimmery. It's a, definitely a mica infused paint. And after I dried that up for a while, then it was annoying me that my, my little focal images where I cut them out, there was little white spots on the edges because I didn't cut very well. I don't like to fussy cut, nobody does. So um, I just went in with my black Posca pin and filled in spots where there was white because it wouldn't matter if it was on a white background but since it was on a black background it looked dumb so and then I'm using my white Posca for a few little highlights just a quickie and then I'm drawing some lines around my branch because it still seemed like it wasn't uh, it just needed black around the edges I don't know why and I signed my name put the date and then I'm like, okay, I'm done. Bye-bye. No, wait. It's never quite over. <laughs> I decided I needed more images it, or shapes with pattern paper. That's what it's called. Shapes with pattern paper. I decided it needed leaves. So I grabbed a jelly print and I just cut out some quick leaves because the, the green from the owls was di didn't have green anywhere else on the page and it was bothering me. Plus... I don't know. It just needed leaves. I just whatever. It needed leaves. <laughs> so I put on the leaves. Um then as I was drawing it, you'll see this kind of funny thing happened. An extra one appeared as I was drawing it. I could not see it anywhere on the page. I don't know where it was, but it appeared. So I just glued it on with some tacky glue and called it good. So here are your close-ups. Uh, if you like this video, remember to like or, or comment, or if you haven't subscribed to me, go ahead and hit subscribe or share this or whatever. Um, that helps YouTube know that I'm making something valuable. And that's about it for me. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs>